Good evening and thank you for joining us for 10 News at 11. I'm John Carlin. As the countdown to Decision 2023 approaches, 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich working for you to show you how Republicans and Democrats are making their final push to get their respective candidates into the General Assembly. Road to power and control within the Virginia General Assembly is expected to come down to the wire. With just days left before election night, both Democrats and Republicans are taking every last minute to campaign. Governor Youngkin spending his time today in southwest Virginia's Montgomery County with a clear message to voters. We gotta hold the House and flip the Senate. Hold the House and flip the Senate. Folks, when we come together, we can move mountains. Meanwhile, Democratic Party of Virginia Chairwoman Suzanne Swecker making her case to vote blue. The extreme MAGA Republicans, if they are allowed to fully take over, will roll back all of the progress that we have made. So everything, everything is on the line. Throughout the campaign, Democrats have used Youngkin's abortion policy to try and sway voters. Republicans, on the other hand, promoting the $5 billion in tax cuts, along with parents' rights in school. Virginia's election will have implications locally and also give a peek as to the issues on voters' minds. With several close races throughout the Commonwealth, eyes here and around the country will be on Virginia come Tuesday. Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.